Hi, I'm Steve. In this video, we're going to walk through setting up a flexible switch stack for Cisco Meraki switches. For this video, we're going to be using the QSFP ports on the front, but keep in mind that any 10 gigabit or faster SFP port can be used for this purpose. We're also going to assume that you already have your switches added to your Meraki dashboard and that they're not configured as a stack yet. First, we're going to make sure to have our unconfigured switches unboxed and set up in our work area. Reset with a clean configuration. We already have our switches powered up, so now we'll proceed to connect each switch to a working up link. This will allow the switches to initially check into the dashboard. At this point, if they haven't already done so, they're going to upgrade their firmware to the network build and we're going to make sure that they have a green or white solid LED. Once that's done, we'll know that they're on the correct firmware version and we're going to choose our dedicated stacking ports. So we're going to use QSFP here and here. So once we've chosen our stack ports, we'll later need to connect the stacking ports in a ring topology. Now on the dashboard, we'll go to switch, monitor, and then switches. Here we'll choose the switch that we want to configure our stack ports on. For this switch, we're going to use the QSFP ports 17 and 18. So I'll click 17, edit the configuration, and change the stacking to enable. We'll repeat that for 18. And then we'll repeat that for the following switch. Now we can actually connect the cables without needing to power down the switches as we planned earlier using a ring topology. Once we have the stack cables connected, We'll go to the switch, monitor, switch stacks page. Here we see that we have a detected potential stack. So we will provision this, name it, and hit the create button. And that's it. The switches are now set up in a flexible switch stack. For more information, please check our documentation site. 